Hello students. In the today's session, we'll talk about the pharmacology of uh, sedative hypnotics, which are used for the treatment of insomnia. Now, a drug that overcomes and uh, controls excitement and calms a subject without inducing sleep is termed as a sedative. A sedative may produce drowsiness, reduced responsiveness, and decrease in the motor activity. On the other hand, a drug that induces and or maintains sleep similar to normal arousable sleep is termed as hypnotic. Now, all sedatives and hypnotics are seen as depressant. A drug may act as, as a sedative at lower dose and hypnotic at a higher dose. Now, coming to the classification of sedative hypnotics, uh, there are three main categories, barbiturates, benzodiazepines and your non-benzodiazepines. Uh, barbiturates, a barbiturate is a prototype of CNS depressant. We'll talk about barbiturates in detail. Uh, there are three subcategories under the barbiturates. Long-acting barbiturates, for example, phenobarbiton. Short-acting barbiturates, for example, butobarbiton. And ultra-short-acting barbiturates, for example, thiopenton. Now, these barbiturates, because of their ability to produce profound central nervous system depression, and because of the availability of better tolerated drugs with the lower abuse liability like uh, uh, newer non-benzodiazepines, uh, these drugs that is barbiturates are not clinically used for the treatment of insomnia. Now, second category of drugs are the benzodiazepines. For example, diazepam, flurazepam, nitrazepam, alprazolam, temazepam and triazolam. And third category of drugs are the newer non-benzodiazepines, for example, uh, Zolpiclon, Zolpidam, uh, Zaliplon. These are the drugs which are preferred over the first and the second category of drugs for the treatment of uh, insomnia. Now, let's study the pharmacology of all these three classes in detail. Now, this slide uh, discusses the pharmacology of uh, uh, barbiturates. Now, let's first see the mechanism of action of GABA. Now, as we all know, GABA is a gamma aminobutyric acid. It is an inhibitory neurotransmitter in the central nervous system. Now, a very important thing to note over here is this, that GABA has two distinct classes of GABA receptors. One is a GABA A receptor, other is a GABA B receptor. Now, it is a GABA A receptor which mediates a sedative hypnotic effect and therefore we are going to talk about the GABA A receptor in detail. Now, this uh, GABA A receptor, uh, it is a pentamer with five different subunits. As we can see in the diagram, there are two alpha subunits, there are two beta subunits and one gamma uh, subunit. Now, these subunits are arranged around a central pore that is the chloride channel. Now, uh, this GABA A receptor, it is an active site and GABA binds to this active site. Now, as soon as the GABA binds to its active site, there is opening of the chloride channels and the chloride ions, uh, they move inside the neuron. That means there is influx of chloride ions inside the neuron. And since there is influx of chloride ions inside the neuron, uh, this induces negative potential within the nerve cell. And because of the negative potential, uh, there is generation of hyperpolarization, hyperpolar there is generation of inhibitory postsynaptic potential within the neuron. Uh, now, this hyperpolarization or this inhibitory uh, postsynaptic potential because of the negative membrane potential within the nerve cell, it inhibits depolarization of nerve cell, it inhibits action potential in the nerve cell and which results in fall in the neuronal activity and CNS depression. Now, uh, this is depicted over here with the help of a flow uh, diagram. Uh, because of the binding of GABA to the GABA A receptors, there is opening of the chloride channel. There is increase in the chloride conductance within the nerve cell and potential within the nerve cells becomes negative that is termed as hyperpolarization. Uh, that is termed as the induction of inhibitory postsynaptic potential and because of this hyperpolarization there is a inhibition of action potential there is inhibition of uh, depolarization or there is inhibition of the neuronal activity which results in cns depression and this cns depression 
uh, which is induced by GABA is responsible for sedative as well as a hypnotic effect. Now this GABA A receptor it possesses uh, uh, this is the active site uh, for the GABA. Uh, apart from the active site for the GABA there are certain allosteric binding sites also. Uh, this is the binding site for the uh, barbiturate. This is a barbiturate receptor and this is a uh, binding site for the benzodiazepine that is a benzodiazepine receptor and therefore this GABA A receptor is termed as to be GABA A benzodiazepine receptor chloride channel complex. So these are the few features characteristic features of GABA A receptor uh, which we have already discussed it is an inotropic receptor it is a ligand gated ion channel uh, it is pentameric transmembrane uh, chloride channel as we have already seen that uh, these five subunits they enclose the uh, chloride channel. It is composed of two alpha two beta one gamma uh, subunits. Now this GABA A receptor it has many different subtypes. Now this is very important for us to know uh, that the GABA A receptor has many different subtypes. Uh, there can be alpha 1 subtype uh, resulting in alpha 1 GABA A receptor. Now stimulation of alpha 1 GABA A receptor is responsible for the sedative and hypnotic effect. Uh, whereas uh, stimulation of alpha 2 and alpha 3 GABA A receptor is responsible for anxiety. Now one thing again uh, important to note is this that uh, barbiturate binds to the barbiturate receptor on GABA A benzodiazepine receptor chloride channel complex. Now these barbiturates they are non-selective. They stimulate alpha 1 GABA A receptor as well as alpha 2 and alpha 3 GABA A receptors and therefore barbiturates they show sedative hypnotic activity and apart from that they also exhibit anxiolytic effect that is the anti-anxiety effect. Now let's see the uh, mechanism of action of barbiturates. Barbiturate uh, potentiate GABAergic inhibition. Uh, they increase the duration of chloride channel opening. Now since they increase the duration of chloride channel opening there is uh, higher or there is more influx of chloride ions within the neuron which results in uh, higher hyperpolarization. Uh, these barbiturates uh, they exhibit uh, GABA mimetic activity at very high doses. At high doses they produce GABA mimetic action and they directly increase the chloride conductance and therefore at high doses they can be toxic, toxic they can result in uh, the patient going into coma. Uh, barbiturates inhibit calcium dependent release of neurotransmitter like acetylcholine and barbiturates depress glutamate. Glutamate we, we know is an excitatory neurotransmitter. So they depress glutamate which is an excitatory neurotransmitter. So barbiturates depress glutamate induced neuronal depolarization mediated through AMPA receptors. So overall by virtue of these four mechanisms barbiturates they induce uh, CNS depression. And therefore, we say that barbiturates, uh, they have the ability to produce profound CNS depression. At low doses, they produce sedation. Uh, slightly higher doses can produce hypnosis. Still higher doses can produce anesthesi anesthetic effect. And still higher doses can result in coma. And now, uh, we'll talk about pharmacology in detail. Now, this slide talks about the pharmacological actions of uh, barbiturates. As we have already discussed barbiturates are CNS depressants. Now first let's see the effect of barbiturates on central nervous system. On the CNS it produces dose dependent effect. Low doses of barbiturates produce sedation. Uh, higher doses produce sleep. Still higher doses produce uh, anesthesia and very high doses can result in coma. Now sedated dose can produce drowsiness, reduction in anxiety. As we have already discussed by virtue of its effect on alpha 1 GABA A receptors uh, barbiturates produce sedation and hypnotic effect whereas by virtue of its effect on alpha 2 and alpha 3 GABA A receptors barbiturates also produce anti-anxiety effect that is the anxiolytic effect. So barbiturates they, uh, cause reduction in anxiety and excitability they impair learning 
short term memory and judgment hypnotic doses can produce hangover hangover characterized by dizziness distortions of mood irritability and lethargy uh, hypnotic doses also reduce concentration and alertness uh, they cause impairment of motor coordination uh, then the effect on respiration uh, since uh, barbiturates they are seen as depressants hypnotic doses can depress respiration uh, again hypnotic doses uh, they can depress cardiovascular system resulting in fall in blood pressure that is hypotension and fall in the heart rate now higher doses that is anesthetic doses uh, they produce fall in the uh, muscle contractions now then effect on the smooth muscles hypnotic doses again uh, reduce tone and motility of bowel effect on kidney uh, a urine flow is reduced uh, by the barbiturates another very important characteristic of barbiturates barbiturates produce tolerance on repeated administration of uh, barbiturates they produce tolerance and higher doses required to produce the same effect which was produced earlier at a lower dose and they are also capable of producing physical and psychological dependence which results in abuse liability and uh, uh, because of uh, these pharmacological actions because of the uh, abuse liability because of the tolerance and because of barbiturates are capable of producing profound uh, or very high degree of uh, cns depression barbiturates are not clinically prescribed for the treatment of insomnia another characteristic of barbiturates is induce uh, uh, cbp isoenzymes uh, which is responsible for a large number of drug interactions which are seen with barbiturates the increased metabolism of warfarin steroids griseofulvin and a number of other drugs they exhibit additive action with alcohol antihistamines opioids another important feature there is no specific antidote for barbiturate poisoning if there is toxicity of barbiturate no specific antidote is available and because of uh, these drawbacks uh, barbiturates are not clinically prescribed for the treatment of insomnia now we'll talk about the pharmacology of uh, benzodiazepines benzodiazepine bind to benzodiazepine receptor Uh, which are located at GABA benzodiazepine receptor chloride channel complex. This is a benzodiazepine receptor, and uh, after binding to the benzo benzodiazepine receptor, uh, which is located at the GABA A receptor, benzodiazepine enhance GABA binding to the GABA A receptor. Benzodiazepines increase the frequency of chloride channel opening, and since there is increase in the frequency of chloride channel opening, there is higher influx of chloride ions within the nerve cell. And higher influx of chloride ions means higher negative uh, membrane potential, more hyperpolarization, uh, more uh, inhibitory postsynaptic potential generation, and which causes fall in the neuronal activity. That is the CNS depression. Uh, responsible for the sedative as well as hypnotic activity so uh, benzodiazepines they exhibit gaba facilitate reaction now those benzodiazepines uh, which uh, show higher affinity for gaba a receptors with alpha with alpha 1 subunit mediate sedative and hypnotic actions for example uh, flurazepam and nitrazepam they are used for the treatment of insomnia whereas those benzodiazepines which show higher affinity for uh, alpha 2 and alpha 3 gaba a receptors they exhibit anxiolytic that is anti anxiety and muscle relaxant actions for example alprazolam as well as uh, lorazepam now coming to the side effects of benzodiazepines uh, benzodiazepines they produce side effects like drowsiness dizziness Uh, decrease in the alertness and concentration impairment of motor coordination now tolerance is less compared to that of uh, barbiturates but they do produce mild tolerance again the abuse liability is lesser compared to that of uh, uh, barbiturates but uh, benzodiazepines do produce uh, abuse liability we'll talk about the pharmacology of third category of drugs that is the non 
benzodiazepines non benzodiazepines also bind to uh, they bind to alpha 1 subunit of gaba a benzodiazepine receptor chloride channel complex now uh, one important thing to note over here is this that non benzodiazepines they exhibit higher selectivity for alpha 1 subunit and since they exhibit higher selectivity for alpha 1 subunit they exhibit uh, selective sedative and hypnotic effects their anxiolytic uh, effect is very less is very very weak so non benzodiazepines they induce uh, opening of chloride channels uh, as we have already discussed this results in hyperbolarization and uh, cns depression Non-benzodiazepines, they produce selective sedative and hypnotic effects because they bind preferentially to alpha-1 subunit of GABA, a benzodiazepine receptor chloride channel complex. They do not bind to alpha-2 subunit, therefore they produce weak anxiolytic effect, weak skeletal muscle relaxation, weak anticonvulsant effect and these non-benzodiazepines, they are indicated in the treatment of uh, only insomnia. And as such, these are the drugs which are preferred over other category of drugs for the treatment of insomnia because they produce selective sedative and hypnotic effect. There is less distortion of sleep pattern, that is there is less effect on the sleep patterns. Uh, the sleep inducers uh, similar to the normal sleep. Uh, there is reduced hangover compared to the barbiturates uh, and near normal sleep very less or much lower abuse potential uh, they have the shorter duration of action uh, for example uh, the examples of the drugs are zolpidam then zopiclone zaliplon side effects are cogn cognitive and memory impairment drowsiness impairment of motor coordination and uh, non-benzodiazepines are preferred over benzodiazepine for the treatment of insomnia because of their selective sedative and hypnotic effect. So this is all about the pharmacology of sedative hypnotics. Thanks for watching the video.